Hello, I'm Amber Huber. Welcome to my messy workbench, eh? Uh, today I'm just going to make a short video about this uh, amplifier that I've been working on here. Uh, I think I started this amplifier project probably last summer, and I worked on it, and I, uh, I think I wrote three posts on it for Steemit, and then um, got distracted away from working on it for a while, and uh, just didn't get back to it until now. I was about three quarters done with it, and then it got put aside. So, I finally got back to it, and uh, I only have a couple of more resistors to put in it to, uh, for it to be ready for testing, but I don't have the proper size, so I have to wait for the parts. So, uh, so let me explain to you what this is. This is, this is the top. Here's the, uh, the tube cover, it goes over here. This is uh, a 12AX7 7025 tube. Um, that goes in the, uh, the preamp slot here. This is a 6L6GC, this is the power tube. It goes in this one. I'm going to get the key lined up here. In like that. I'm not going to put it. I'm not going to put it all the way in right now. This is the rectifier tube for the power supply, and that goes in here. That's all there is to it. As far as tubes, it's only three tubes. Uh, this is my bag of knobs for the tubes. I mean, for the uh, controls. So let me uh, bring in the camera a little closer, and it'll be easier to show you what I'm looking at. Okay, so, like I said, these are the, uh, the knobs. They'll go on like this. They have a little set screw in the back here to tighten them on. So, they'll go on like this. This one is for, a, there's a control in the back. Whatever that control is. There we go. So here's your power supply. Now, let me do that. Here's your power supply switch. This is a lighted switch so that you know it's when it's on. It's my five knobs. Um, I have a gain, an input gain, uh, three tone controls. Uh, I have um, treble, base, treble, mid range, and bass. And then I have a master volume here. And here's the guitar input. So, the guitar input, the input gain, treble, mid-range, bass, master volume. Okay. Now, like I said, this is, your, this is the rectifier tube for the power supply. Put that over there. This is the output power tube. And this is is the entire preamp section. It's one tube. It has two triodes built into the tube and um, that's all it takes to run this little lamp. This is the power supply transformer. This is the output transformer. Now this amp is what they call a single-ended class A amplifier and that is because it's only got one power tube so that makes it single-ended. And uh, class A means that it, the, the power tube runs the full, um, the full uh, output uh, voltage, I guess you'd say, the output um, signal. With a class AB or even a class A push-pull amplifier, each tube only runs part of the signal. They're a lot more efficient. And they, but these little class A single-ended amps have their own uh, particular sound that some people really like. So, let me take these off. Because they're going to fall off as soon as I move this thing anyway. Okay, now, on the back is the, the uh, jack for the, uh, or the socket, I should say, for the power cord. Um, the fuse, the speaker output here, 
this I only have one speaker output on this, and it's for an 8 ohm speaker. And then this is my other little control here, which has a switch um, and a, uh, control. And that's for the um, uh, feedback, the negative feedback loop, which goes from the output of the power transformer back into the um, the preamp to control, for lack of a better way to put it, it controls how clean the sound is. It, it doesn't distort as easily as you turn it up. And if you shut that off, then it, it distorts easier and gets more buzzy and whatever. So that's the way that is. And of course, here's the guts. I think you can probably see that. Let me check, just to make sure. Yep. Okay. So here we have these two and these two. These are your power supply capacitors. That's what uh, filters all of the AC and noise and whatever out and, and um, makes uh, DC for the uh, circuitry. Uh, this is uh, part of your power supply here. Uh, let's see. Here's the output tube, and here's the preamp tube, the sockets. And this is all of the associated um, circuitry that goes with it. This section right here is the um, tone control section. It's just three capacitors and a resistor, basically. Um, the input here that goes into the tube goes out of the one section of the tube into the tone control circuit comes back out of that tone control circuit, goes into the other side of the tube, comes out of the tube, uh, the other side of the tube goes over here to the master volume. From there it goes to the power tube. The power tube is hooked up to the output transformer, and um, the output transformer sends a signal to the speaker. That's pretty much how it is in simple terms. The uh, technology is, you know, it's, well, it's tube technology. It's pretty basic. So, but that's uh, that's it. Uh, I got a couple of paint chips on my on my uh, paint job on the uh, on the transformers. This is uh, this amp is what I call my red and black amp because uh, <laughs> pretty obvious. This is a schematic that I used to uh, do this. It's based off of a. a um, a, it's loosely based off of a Fender schematic for the Champ amp, but I've added some things to it that the Champ amp does not have. Plus, the Champ uses a um, a 6V6 for the power tube, and that gets about four, four and a half watts output. Um, this amplifier puts out about 10 watts output at. Um, I guess you'd say it at full volume before it starts to really distort. Once it gets to a certain point of, of volume, it doesn't really get any louder. It just distorts more. But that's, I'll, I'll probably talk about that in a different video. So that's, uh, that's the project I'm working on. And I uh, hope you found that interesting. And thanks for watching. <laughs>